ora, no mai tauti mai ki toi Matariki. Ko mātaki wi tōku ingoa. Kia ora and welcome to Matariki Crafts. My name is Marta Kiwi and I work for Māori Library Services with the Christchurch City Libraries. So today we're going to make a star box like this one. Now you can place a taonga into your star box. You can place your wishes for the coming new year into the star box and keep them safe. Or you could even place a piece of kai like some lollies and give it away during the time of Matariki to one of your friends. Okay, so let's get started. You're going to need a square piece of paper. The bigger the paper, the bigger the star box. This piece of paper here, the colour piece, we got from a thrift shop or craft shop. And it's special origami paper which you can use to, of course, make your star box. If you don't have a square piece of paper, you can make one from a rectangle piece of paper. Now this is a piece of paper I've got from a book that I've got sitting around at home. And all I do to make my square is take the corner closest to me on my right and fold it all the way up to the edge, far edge, like this, and fold it. And then what I do is I take that flap there and I fold it under there. And then I get someone to cut it off. And what you end up with, once you've cut it, as a square piece of paper. Okay. So we take our piece of paper and we turn it into a diamond. We take the corner that's closest to us and we fold it to the top, matching the other corner, the top corner there, like that. And it makes a triangle. And then we unfold it and we turn it and we do the same again. We take this corner and bring it up to this corner. And unfold it. And now what we want to do is bring it flat so the line is straight in front, the edge is straight in front of you. And we're going to fold it in half and make a rectangle. Like so. And then we turn it again so the edge is beside us or in front of us, I should say, and fold. The next bit we want to do is we want to bring the point to point, and then this point outside point up, and this point outside point up. This is the easiest way of doing it. And then all you do is you just squash your paper down, so you end up with something that looks like that. So to show you again, you take point to point of opposites and bring the point up on each side, lie it down and then just squash them. Now there's a closed end and an open end. We're going to be working with the open end. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take the outside edge and we're going to bring it to the middle. Now, when it's paper like this, it's hard to see where the middle is, but you can feel it with your finger. There's like a crease in there. So you bring the edge in like that and crease it down. And then we do the opposite side like that. If it looks a bit uneven like that and you're a bit like me and get a bit fussy, you can just readjust it as you go. So you end up with something that looks like this. Now what you want to do is turn it over. And again, the open using the open side, the far edge to the middle. So I'll do it this way so you can see it. Just like that. And crease it down. And again... This edge here to the middle. So now you've got something that looks a little bit like a kite on both sides. The next thing you want to do is you want to bring up one of the flaps and split them like this and then get your finger 
and pop them into the end so that you can squash them down nice and easy. Show you again, pick up the flap, split it open, bring your finger into the point so that it's nice and even and squash it down. And now it looks like this. The next bit is lift up the side and if you can see that side there, we're going to fold it back on itself. Now if I show you facing you, I'm going to bring this side here across and back so it folds to the middle. And then I fold it down. And I do the same thing on this side. I fold it back and so it meets to the middle. And so I end up with that. Turn it over and I do the same thing on this side. Lift the flap Fight with it for a couple of minutes. There we go. Push it down. Next flap. Split it open like that. Push it down. And then again, folding this flap here back on itself. Lifting the flap up and folding half of it back. So now I have the beginnings of our star box. The next bit is I lift them up a bit and I bring the flap closest to me down and the back flap down. So it looks like this. And then I open it a little bit and you just gently fold the flaps down and then the last bit is you pop your fingers in and you just gently run them around the bottom of the star box and there you go, a star box for Matariki. Hope you've enjoyed this activity today. For more activities like this, please look through our website. Namahi o te wao matariki ki akwe.